Hello, welcome to Chicken Bros. My name is David Heath. And the bounce is gone from his bungee. <laughs> and we are here to talk about Wallace and Gromit, A Close Shave. Which, for years, was the scariest of the Wallace and Gromit shorts. The fact that they actually up the ante these days is wow. <laughs> but, uh, yes, it is the third of the line of Ardman short films they made. I think this one was also the 90s. Um... And it kind of begins this trope that has been following in Wallace and Gromit films up to this point, which is that they have a business, but it's always different. That is true. And this is the first time you actually see them like at work doing something instead of just being at home. Um, yep. They're doing a cleaning service, which is they come and I do wish... like window cleaning. Window washing. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> when they start their morning, things start going a little awry because uh, Wallace tries to... It's porridge today, Gromit! Juicy. Juicy. He tries to have porridge for breakfast. He has this machine that's supposed to shoot out porridge into the bowl perfectly, but uh, it starts uh, shooting randomly, and a great, great amounts of porridge being shot out directly at Wallace. And it, t- it takes the point where like Gromit has to unplug it from the wall to get it to stop, and he realizes like mm-hmm. the porridge's been chewed up. Oh wait, hang on a second. We forgot the intro bit where the with the. Uh, the giant truck rolled down Wallaby Street. Yeah. And a little sheep somehow escaped from it. <laughs> bah, bah. Yeah, and uh That's why there's such chewed up shit. Yeah, everything in their house is like chewed up. Even the plants, some boxes. Heavens above what so, could it be? Even the Goodness, cheese. Bees? Have you been peckish during the night? Someone's been at me cheese. Even there's a chew bit in, like, his newspaper. You think we should get the pest control people in? Funny, considering their next job. Yeah. Um, but anyway, they get a call from someone who needs their windows washed, so they get ready for business. Uh, they have... This is also something that they have a very complicated mechanism that always gets them ready and in a car. Like... Yeah. You could just get dressed and then walk to the car, Wallace. But what fun would that be? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> also, how it show Nick Park and the people of Artman how to do their shit. Like, I mean, yeah, that, I mean that is mostly the reason why they do that is because like they want to show off their stop motion prowess, which I mean, fair is fair. I mean, like it, they are good at it. Mm-hmm. And when they get there, they uh, well, <laughs> Gromit does this like funny like it's kind of like a pole vaulting trick almost. He takes this ladder and yeah. perfectly aims it into this like uh, set, super which, great. Yeah. Which flings him upward to the window, and he sees this other, like, really mean dog staring back at him. Big, scary-looking motherfucker. Yeah, and Wallace goes inside to meet with the people who own the place, and she sees, uh, he sees, uh, this woman. What's her name? Wendelin. 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 Um, uh, she, I don't know if it's her business, but, like, she knit. Yeah, yeah, she knits. Yeah, that's her business. She knits wool. Oh, she knits? Crochets. <laughs> Crochets, nice. Uh, and, you know, there's that thing where, like, Wallace is, like, admiring this, like, pyramid of, like, balls of yarn, but they all collapse. It's like, oh, dear. And they start picking it up, and they I'm do that sorry. thing their hands touch. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, you can see, like, a, a, a thing is blooming here. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this place yours? Mm-hmm. My father left it to me, along with his debts and a few other things. And it shows a picture of the dad... Alongside the dog, Preston. Yeah. All right, Pooch. All right, Pooch. <laughs> and, um, I can't remember why, but, like, Gromit, uh, he's, like, on a bungee thing. Oh, yeah, I think Preston comes and fucks with him or something. Yeah. Like, your dog's waiting. Oh. Yeah, because Wallace was asking about the sheep, the recent sheep rustling, and mm, Wendelin was kind of avoiding the subject. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, your dog's waiting. Oh, he... Well, I must see to him. The, the balance, balance is gone from his bungee. And so, they, uh, with the windows clean and everything, uh, <laughs> they take off, and they come back to more chewed up shit and a mess all over their house, and that's when they find the sheep, whose name is Sean. Or they name him Sean. Yes. And, and my dad, to this day, keeps trying to argue with me that the dog... The, the sheep's name isn't Sean, it's Shorn. 
Shorn. Because of its because of Walsh's Which, accent. Yeah, but it's also disputed because Sean eventually got his own show. Yeah. You said at that point, there's no argument. It's Sean. Yeah. Spelled <laughs> atrociously, but whatever. I mean, I mean, I've seen it spelled that way before. Yes, but originally, the Irish way is S-E-A-N. Well, yeah, but, you know. And it's an Irish name, so. Names take on different kinds of forms. Do you, know, have any idea, you have any idea how many forms of the name John there are? Mm-hmm. Way too yeah, many I know. Now. Sean is one of them. I'm just saying, man. There's way too many. But anyway, um, because Sean is so filthy, uh, Wallace puts him through this. Like, what was the point? Sheep. Of, what was the point of this machine? Just a sheep watch. Just like a wash machine. You tipped it on Gromit, haven't we, lad? And uh, Gromit has this nod, like, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it always cracks me up when Sean is getting washed. He just goes. Bay, 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 bay. <laughs> and it, but I then think it, I think it shaves him, doesn't it? Like a little bit, like yeah, off it, the it actually because he like, he act, that's one of the things it can do. Uh, Wall or not Wallace Gromit had originally said it just for a wash, but because Wallace's inventions always go haywire, it switched over to the shave to the clean and shave. So it shaved Shorn Sean down <laughs> to. Yeah, see, yeah, I'm doing it. Down to his, like, he like, was, like, skinny now. He's skinny yeah, now. There's wool and it, there, but not a, a whole lot. And there's a cute little sweater. And he's, like, his limbs, his this. limbs are, like, shaking. Like, <laughs> he's so cold. Um, I, I will say, though, not all of Wallace's inventions go haywire. Eh, the, most of them do. I can, the ones think, that aren't, I, can like the, of, I can only think of two so far that have gone haywire. This and the the uh, what, the invention he invented for the were rabbit. The because the rocket worked fine. It was the bird that fucked with the trousers. And I uh, get yeah. I suppose that's true. And there was really no invention in the other one. That is true. Uh, yeah. I suppose that's true. Yeah, but anyway, um, I don't remember. Like I think they're washing windows again, and like. Yeah, the, we're doing the, the clock the tomorrow. Did, Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, Oop. we have to talk about this. Yes. Oop. Sorry, Gromit. Because Wallace blasted him with soap. Sorry, Gromit. That was a bit thick. Yeah. But because thick is a way to say someone is being is stupid in English vernacular, I don't know if he's saying that was a stupid thing to do or that was a thick blast of suds. I think the intention was... I think Wallace was saying that was thick and that it was too much. But then Gromit looks at the camera and is, like, inferring to us, yeah, he's a bit thick. <laughs> but so then, then Wallace goes... Point, like, yeah, Wallace goes to talk to Windeline, but, like... Windeline. But something ha- like Gromit... Somehow, like- some way, uh, Gromit discovers all these sheep. Yeah, and like gets framed big... because like he stuck his head through a thing and got his photo taken. Yeah, but what I thought was funny was like the, all the sheep after Wallace or not Wallace, ah, Gromit frees the sheep. They all rush through the store and like stampede and separate Wallace and uh, Wendell and <laughs> like oh, oh same oh, time oh. next week. <laughs> and Gromit gets left behind in the truck. Like he gets locked up in there. Yeah, and then he, he hears Sean's little bang, and he goes up to this wall that has a hole in it, and he pokes his head in, and it has, like, a really terribly drawn image of a butcher yeah. with Sean next to it, and it takes a picture of him and makes him look like he's the sheep rustler. Right. I swear, everybody, every human in this world is fucking stupid because of like how that works. Yep. And because of all this, I guess, incriminating evidence, uh, Gromit gets uh, arrested. Oh, Gromit. Yeah, Wallace thinks he was like... I don't know if Wallace thinks he did it or if he's, if he knows that he's just being wrongly accused. It's hard to tell with Wallace sometimes because he's a bit thick. Yeah. Yep. But, like, uh, Gromit's there in, like, literal prison and he gets, like, a present... Which is like a sheep pu- puzzle, which he knows he got from Wallace, and he's 
by the way, Gromit, so intelligent. He is putting this whole puzzle together without looking at it once. And you know he hasn't I know. looked at it. And you know he hasn't looked at it because if he had, he'd notice. He didn't notice until it was finished that there was a written message on that puzzle. Yeah, it was something like Friday, 7 o'clock, Be signed ready. a friend. Yeah, from a friend, yeah. Like, what, what kind of levels of intelligence does this dog have that he can put together a whole puzzle without so much as looking at it until it's done? But anyway, that message obviously was from Wallace, and, like, he sees Sean at the window of the cell. They get him out, and all the sheep, uh... Are, like, piled on top of Wallace's with motorcycle. Yeah, and they all come tumbling down on, on him after he slips on something. Ah! And I, I don't remember exactly how this happened, but they eventually found out that Wendelin and Preston were the ones that were wrestling sheep, but the sheep wrestling, had it. Yeah. yeah, because at first it was just for the wool, but... Now, um, Preston is killing the sheep and using their meat for his dog food. Yeah, which is screwed up. I mean, have, as someone who has eaten uh, lamb chops, I can see why. It's good shit. Yeah, but, I mean, anyway. But, like, uh, he starts fighting back against Wendelene and, like, forcing her into the back of the truck. He's like, you're not turning me into dog meat. Dog meat. Dog meat. Uh, and then you know he drives off, and then Walls and Grom have to chase after him, which leads to a lot of hilarity. Like the, it's like a two-way bike <laughs> that has like a little compartment on the side. Yeah, a, a sidecar. Yeah, a sidecar that eventually gets separated, and Gromit turns it into a oh, plane. Heck. Oh heck! <laughs> Gromit dives off of a cliff and turns it into a plane. Which is fucking. Cool. I still have a toy of both walls. Like it was a. This restaurant in my area, um, I call it Carl's Jr. David calls it Hardee's. Well, no, it's not. It's not like calls it. That's what they are called in those different states. And that's what I'm saying. Like that's it's the same restaurant, but we we call it by different names. Right. Anyway, back when I was a kid, they had toys of Wallace and Gromit in their in their little kids meals. <laughs> and I had Wallace and Gromit. Wallace was on the motorcycle. Gromit was on the sidecar. You could take off the sidecar and put on the wings. Nice. That is. That's actually really dope. Yeah, it was pretty dope. Um, and yeah, so Wallace um, follows the truck and tries to get the sheep out of the truck, but they all start piling onto the motorcycle. He's like, "Get yourselves organized down there!" He like, Preston looks in the in the rear view. He's like, "The heck!" And like, all the sheep are doing like a triangle form, <laughs> like cheerleaders. And when they go through a tunnel, they're all like bundled together. I liked how when they saw Wall or Grama in the plane, they all saluted him. Yeah. Although I think they do eventually end up at um, Preston's little uh, dog food Fact like factory. Yeah. Hang on, that's my machine. I yeah, he took. Bending on that. Yeah, he yeah. Uh, Preston took Walls's machine, but like made it like evil and actually like up like. like he made it legal, more than just. Yeah. And thankfully, it's Grom a sheep mincing thing. Gromit comes in just in the nick of time, and I think, like, I don't remember how, but somehow Preston gets put into the machine. Yeah. Um, and but it doesn't stop him because it turns out this isn't just a normal dog. He's a cyber dog, a cyber what? cyber a robot. A robot. My daddy created him for good, but he's turned out evil. And then freaking Preston comes like like freaking metal dog, like he's freaky looking, man. Fucking T-1000 Terminator looking shit. I think that's why they like, played that similar sounding kind of music. It had like that dun, dun, dun kind of sound to it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so they end up on like a conveyor belt and they're all running. Like the sheep, Wallace, Wendelin, and Preston are all running on this <laughs> this uh, um, conveyor belt. And um, I think it was uh, <laughs> Sean that swung on the thing. And they're like, Doc, where? Where? Ah! Ah! <laughs> and knocks Preston into the like the mincer. Yeah, and which, so, I mean, he's a robot, so it doesn't do shit. Well, I mean, it... I mean, it stops him, but it not like it turns him into dog meat or anything. No, it turns him into robotic bits. Puts those in the can. True. <laughs> but essentially, that's their way of saying they stopped him. And uh, yep. later on, Wendelin comes to visit Wallace and shows that he she reprogrammed him to just be a normal dog. Thanks, Pooch. <laughs> won't, you come, won't you come in? We're about to have some cheese. And one of them's like, I can't eat cheese. It, I can't stand it. And Wallace has this look of a complete crestfallenness. Like, 
Oh, okay, so she doesn't, like okay, so she doesn't eat cheese, dude. Big, big deal. Big I don't either. Up. Big what? Apparently, that's the big. That's the the deal breaker for Wallace. You can be a sheep rustler. That's fine. I can forgive you for that. But if you say no to cheese, get out. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> What's wrong with Wednesday? Yeah, literally, he's literally sitting in his home, like, like all depressed and shit. Like, what's wrong with Wednesday, Dale? I imagine Grommet at that point would be like, "Mate, fucking get over it." Fuck. He's like, talking of which, is like getting ready to eat some cheese. Yeah, he's like, get, get off me, cheese! Shoot, Gromit. Get off, Gromit, get him! Go for him! Go for him! He's like, well, Gromit's like, nope, nope. Oh man, that sounds like a you problem. But I'm your own grown man. I'm your own grown man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and that's a close shave. That one gets a seven out of ten for me because it scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. But I re- appreciate it now because yeah. it's not the scariest. No, not I, by I, a long shot. I do appreciate shot. it, but you're right; it is creepy. I think I'll also give it a seven out of ten. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>